Hi guys, it's Kai and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun sewing tutorial on this little zip tie outfit that I made. I also made a matching little panty. I don't know if you can really see. Definitely not my original idea. I've seen outfits like this on Instagram for so long. There's a lot of designers out there who make this really, really well. And I wanted to give it my ratchet little try. I picked up a pack of like 2000 zip ties on eBay. I decided to make mine into a two piece and I just have zip ties all along these sleeves and my little bottom, but you could really do it however you want. It's actually really easy. You basically just have to find your fabric of choice and then find um, a fabric in the same color with like a mesh pattern to it so that's what you tie the zip ties to and Jesus Christ when I say it took me so long to add all of these zip ties I think I took like an entire day just tying zip ties but the effect is worth it so if you want to see how I made it then just keep watching so I've got here a yard of this yellow background fabric which is just a solid yellow and a yellow sort of mesh material with a bunch of holes that I'm gonna tie the zip ties to. Your first instinct might be to just make the costume out of the mesh material and add the zip ties to that but I think you would be able to see some skin underneath it still and it wouldn't be very comfy to wear. So I got these two fabrics so that the solid yellow would be our background color and they also both have some stretch built into them which is pretty useful. So I'm taking my standard bodysuit pattern and my sleeve pattern and I'm gonna make the crop top by cutting off that bodysuit right above the waist and I'm making the matching bottom by cutting it right below the waist. You could also just trace something that you already own that fits right though. But you want to make a front and a back crop top piece and also a front and back bottom piece and also a left and right sleeve out of this solid color. For my design, I wanted the crop top piece to only be the solid yellow, and I wanted the sleeves and bottom to be covered in zip ties. So I replicated my two sleeves onto the mesh fabric as well as my bottom. So in the plain solid fabric, I'll have all the pieces to make a long sleeve crop top and bottom, but in the mesh material, I'll only have the pieces to make both sleeves and the bottom. But by the way, I got this new rotary cutter, which is like this rolly pizza knife you see me using. I feel like literally pro seamstress level 100. I'm like still figuring out how to use it though, so <laughs> sorry if I'm switching back and forth. Anyway, just to recap one more time, in my plain fabric, I have my front and back crop top, my front and back bottoms, and my left and right sleeves. Whereas in the mesh fabric, I only have my front and back bottom and my two sleeves. Only because personally, I wanted the crop top just to be the plain yellow. You should have all of your blueprint pieces cut out before you even think about hitting the sewing machine. Anyway, now we're going to put the pieces all together. The zip ties actually don't come in until the very end. What I did was I took each piece of the mesh and attached it to the corresponding piece in the solid fabric. So for example, I took this like bottom mesh piece and I attached it to one of the bottom solid pieces by first clipping it together and then I did a zigzag stitch all the way around the perimeter. By the way, I did it so that they're both like right sides facing up. We're not doing any like flipping around, turning inside out here. This is gonna be the face that you see, if you know what I mean. When I made this costume the first time, like before this, I did a practice round, I had to start over because my initial approach was to make a separate bottom out of just the mesh and a separate bottom out of just the solid and sew them together, just like the lining of a jacket, just like I did in my fur coat video. But for some reason, it was just really hard for me to configure. I found it was a lot better to just one by one attach each piece so that everything in the end would fit together and it was never really overwhelmed by like so many layers of fabric. I used a zigzag stitch because the holes in this mesh material were so big that I kind of thought that a zigzag stitch would be the best way to kind of grab hold onto as much fabric as possible by setting it at the longest width. A mesh fabric with smaller holes than this might be more ideal for this reason, but there's actually a very important reason why I chose this one in particular, and that's that it was in the clearance section of the store. Anyway, I did the same to the other bottom piece and both sleeve pieces, so by now you should have the two bottoms to two sleeves and then the two crop top pieces, which for me personally, I wanted just the plain yellow. Now we can just attach this and build this all together as just a simple crop top and bottom without having to worry about this bottom layer and top layer. For the bottoms, you're just going to attach the pieces right sides together, meaning the mesh sides together, and sew along the crotch seam and the sides with, again, a zigzag stitch. The top's a little more complicated, but if you've watched my tutorials 
shouldn't be anything brand new to you. What I did first was I attached the front and the back crop top pieces at the shoulders. And to add the sleeves, what I did was this technique I showed you in my most recent sewing tutorial, which you can check out for more insight. But you basically open up the crop top right side facing up and you pin the sleeve to the armhole by placing it upside down, right side down. And you're gonna pin all of the armhole by starting at the middle and going outward so that the ends of the sleeve edge meet up with where the armpit of the crop top is as much as possible. When you open it up, you'll get a flattened version of the long sleeve crop top, which you then just fold over right sides together, and you're gonna do one long stitch from the waist up the armpit and through to the wrist, like I showed in this illustration in my last video. Finally, the last thing you can do is hem your pieces. I just did the um, like waist part and the neckline of my crop top and folded them inwards and sewed it with a stretch stitch because for the sleeves, I knew it was gonna be covered in zip ties anyway, so you weren't really gonna see the sleeve edge. Since I already added that zigzag stitch to all the edges of these pieces earlier anyway, I don't really have to worry about them fraying. I just hemmed the neckline and the waistline of the crop top just because I wanted it to look prettier. Finally, you should have your completed long sleeve crop top and bottom, and now we just add all the zip ties, which is probably the longest part of this tutorial. Like I said in the intro, I used 2,000 zip ties from eBay. They came in four packs of 500, and they're 20 centimeters long. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested, but I used a pack of 500 on each arm and on the bottom, and then the fourth pack I just distributed across everywhere else to just fill up any more gaps where I saw them. For the sleeves, I started adding zip ties like 10 centimeters above the wrist because I knew the zip ties were already long and would go past the wrist. Just pay attention to the direction of the zip ties if you want it all to look smooth and not have random zip ties going in different directions, which is also why I didn't really tighten them as much as I could have. I left a tiny little bit of space so that the zip ties were loose enough to fall naturally and weren't on too tight, if you know what I mean. You should also make sure to only tie it to a small, thin string each time. Like, for example, if you tied it to like three strings at once and pulled it tight, it would make the fabric bunch up and your sleeve would fit too tight. My initial approach to this was kind of like sparsely distributing them everywhere, but I found out that I needed a lot more than I thought I did, so I'm glad I got 2,000. That was kind of like an overestimate, but I ended up actually using all of them because I just think it looks better when the zip ties are really full and not too sparse, but it's really up to you and your own creative eye. All right guys, so this is how the finished costume turned out. Here it is from the back. I know, I have like hella stretch marks and I don't know what the hell this is. I guess it's a birthmark. I would probably pair this with like a thigh high boot, I feel like, just to match my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a lot of fun to make and really the possibilities are endless. You can add zip ties to your pants, to a jacket, to your rests, whatever your slutty heart desires. Be sure to tag me in your pics if you're gonna give this a try. Here are some pictures of people who have been tagging me in their pictures using my tutorials, and you can tag me at OnlineKind on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But until my next video, I hope you're all doing well. Bye!